We're going back to using Bing chat in this video, and I've basically come up with this prompt. And I'm going to show you everything I do to rank on Google right here, right now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to tools on Google Ads Keyword Planner, United States English, and you want to write something very broad in your niche. So I'm going to write attire for men, which is an incredibly broad keyword. And we see we have business casual formal attire, and we're going to use cocktail attire for men right here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to replace your keyword here and here with the keyword you have just found. And then you want to copy and paste the first part of the prompt into Bing chat. Now, I, Bing chat is really, really good, but it is also kind of annoying sometimes. It can be quite frustrating to use. So you do need to have a little bit of patience with it. So for example, right now it's struggling to even start, as you can see. It always does this. Every time you press Bing chat, it starts telling you about itself. It's so annoying, honestly. Right, there we go. So now it should give me an outline. So the first part of this is, says, give me a 10 heading outline for cocktail attire for men. Think outside the box. You're going to be writing for two men dot it. So understand what two men dot it is. It's a classic menswear multi-brand store that sells Kitan, Cesare Tellini and other sartorial brands. Include 10 of these brands in the outline to be used later for internal linking. Okay, so we have an outline here. I'm not massively enthusiastic about the outline, so I could just tell it to do it again, but in, I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I'm just going to say, let's start to write. So I'm going to say, write the first one half of this article. And then I'm going to say, please make sure each title has a few paragraphs to make the article longer. So I'll press enter here. And I should start writing. So you can see already it's given me a really, really nice key takeaway table. I'm obsessed with these. I personally think this is one of the best ways to increase your ranking on Google is to have one of these key takeaway tables. The reason is, is that when someone opens an article like this, the last thing they're going to do is actually read the entire article. So if you give people all of the information they need in the first kind of second that they open the article, they're going to stay on the article for longer and it's actually going to increase the ranking of the article. So already you can see that just for um, the suits here, which is the first uh, title of the article, it's giving me an absolute crap ton of content. So you can see that after a while, this is probably going to be a 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 word article written completely for free. Another thing I've been doing recently is if it does, if I like the article, but it's not doing internal links, what we can actually do is we can take this content, we can put it into chat GPT 3.5 even, and we can say, can you add internal links relevant to my website? And then we can give them the internal links. So that's a really, really good way to do it. If it's written an article that you like, but it doesn't have internal links inside it, that is probably the best way to do it. This article is going to be so long. So this part here, write the first one half of this article. Please make sure each title has a few paragraphs to make the article longer. This is how you can write long form content using Bing chat. This is going to end up being absolutely ridiculous, the length of this article. Now, the only problem I have, like I said before, is, is it doesn't seem to be doing internal links, but it's always good to check that because you can't always see. So I'm going to press copy here and we're going to just check to see if it's not doing internal links. It is not doing internal links, which is kind of annoying. But like I said before, you, we can say, please, can you add these internal links once to this article? And we'll do collections kit on. And then we'll do collections Chisade. This is what I've been doing. Oh. This is what I've been doing if I like the article, but there are no internal links. I've been adding the internal links afterwards. This can work pretty well. Sometimes it doesn't work that well. Yeah, you can see it hasn't worked at all. Okay, so basically what I said right here was, can you add internal links to this part of the article? And I didn't give it the internal links again. If you remember, I already gave them the internal links right here. So now what it's done is it has actually added internal links. You can't see them, like I said before, but these are all internal links. Let me see if I can show that without stopping uh, the progress here. So let's control V. 
No, you can't actually see it until it's finished this part. So what I'm going to do is we're going to finish writing this entire article and we're going to see how long it is and we're going to see how ridiculous the end result is. I just wanted to quickly mention, I'm not sure I mentioned this at the beginning of this video, you will have to be logged in for this, so make sure you're logged in to Bing. The reason for that is because otherwise I would only have one more generation after this, which means I wouldn't even be able to finish the article if I wasn't logged in. So it's really, really important that you log in because you get 30 generations per conversation instead of only five generations per conversation. Okay, so that is the first part of the article done. So now I'm going to say, I'm just going to say continue here. But at least we have some content now. So if I press copy here and I say this to markdown to HTML, we should be able to see an absolute crap ton of internal links here. We have internal links. This is already a massive, massive article. Also, another really good thing about Markdown to HTML is it makes a really, really good, it, it's really, really easy to edit content. So just in the first part of this article, we already have 1,341 words. We already have really good formatting. We have a lot of lists. Or, already you can see that this is going to rank well on Google. So we'll see what it comes up with here, but I have a feeling this is going to be 3,000 plus words by the end of it. Now, I will say that most articles don't have to be this long, but if you're writing an informational article in a very, very competitive niche, such as cocktail attire, business attire, business casual, all that good stuff, then this is probably one of the easiest ways to actually get some rankings here. When a keyword is more competitive, it can sometimes be better to write a longer article, especially if it's an informational piece. If it is just a listicle, I would recommend doing much shorter articles, which is what I normally do. But if we're talking about something that requires a little bit more content, then this is almost definitely the best way to do it. It's really amazing that it knows which of the brands sell shirts or not. That's definitely because we're on Bing, because normally it doesn't work like this. So Barber Napoli, we sell shirts. Brunello Cuccinelli does sell shirts, but we don't sell shirts by Brunello Cuccinelli, but there's not really any way for um, Bing to know that. Isaiah also sells shirts, of course. So now I'm going to say, can you continue, but can you give me another table to break up the walls of text? So this is a really, really nice way to do it because you can also steer the article in whatever direction you want. The end of this article is probably going to be 10,000 words or more written completely for free with internal links, etc, etc, which is pretty crazy when you think about it compared to what, I mean, even a year and a half ago, you would have to pay someone $500 for this article. So a lot of things have definitely changed. One thing you do need to be careful of is um, where it says like it's little responses like here, here is the, here is... Here is the second part of the article about cocktail attire for men. You have to be extremely careful that you do not put any of that in live content, especially if you're writing for a client. That will look kind of ridiculous, so just be careful of that. Again, personally, I rarely write content this long, but I do think that it's important to know how to, and I also think that it's important to be able to do it sometimes. With topics like cocktail attire for men, it is important because something like this is not going to rank if you just have 500 words in a listicle. It looks like it's finally finished. Um, let's just say write a conclusion and also give me another table, please. It's not giving me tables, which is annoying. I did ask it for tables. Tables are in the prompt, but you know it can't be perfect, let's be honest. This is ridiculous. The length of this is just, it's, it's absurd. Like, I can't believe how long this is. 3,813 words written in under 10 minutes. That's really, really crazy. If you know anything about writing content, you will know that that would take me a lot longer to do if I did it by hand. Let's just get rid of this. This is now pretty much a ready to post article. What I would personally do is I would add some images add some product embeds. I'd probably spend about half an hour to an hour adding images, et cetera, et cetera, infographics. I'd probably get my team to make an infographic for this one just because it is such an important topic. Also, I'd probably change around some of these. For example, Hugo Boss doesn't really sell ties or we don't sell their ties. Santoni is much more of a shoe brand than uh, a tie brand. 
Fioroni also doesn't sell ties, so I would probably just delete the section about ties and I would move Santoni to shoes, etc, etc. But that's just some small things. Overall, an article like this will probably take you half an hour to an hour, but the ranking result will be worth the amount of time that you put into it. I currently think this is the best way to write long form content. And finally, we have another table just that we can put at the bottom. This is insane. This is super, super long form content with some really, really good formatting. And we could just add to this to make it just that little bit better and rank on Google. So let's see overall how many words we've got. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, copy this, paste this. So overall, 4,172 words. Now you can just go through. I would check it. I would add a few more internal links here and there. I would embed some products and then it's ready to post. Now you can post it in a few ways. Personally, what I do is I use this and I use raw HTML right here. Copy this and if I go to, uh, let's just go to my website, I guess. I had a few people asking me about this. So basically on WordPress, you can, on, on Shopify, it's even easier. Just click the HTML button and paste the HTML. But on WordPress, it should just be pasteable. I don't even know why people are asking me because you just click add new post. And then once it's loaded, so you should just be able to do control V here. Yeah, you can. So I don't know why people are asking me about this. You can literally just press control V and you saw that I copied the HTML. Then if I publish this just quickly, just as an example, and then let's view the post. You'll see that the internal links actually point to this website. Okay. So incomestreamservers.com slash collection slash kit on. Obviously it doesn't exist because it doesn't exist, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you can write a almost 5,000 word article for free. And then you just need to spruce it up with some images and, you know, a couple of other things. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.